The nutrient-rich sediment of the high plains eventually allowed tall grass prairies here to thrive. They, in turn, came to support a wide variety of remarkable species. Scientists know this thanks to what they discovered in one of the most dazzling natural landscapes in all of the Great Plains states, South Dakota's Badlands. Native Americans called this area Makosika, or Land Bad, which is how the Badlands got their name. These dramatic forms were created by erosion over millions of years as soft sedimentary rock crumbled away exposing layers of earth that date back to the age when the Great Plains was covered by the sea. Even today, it's easy to imagine ocean waters lapping at the bases of these prehistoric pinnacles. In layers of sediment here, archaeologists have unearthed the fossils of fascinating creatures that once called North America home, including rhinoceri, large-headed pigs, horses, and saber-toothed cats. Evidence from here has also revealed that the world's first camels wandered the Great Plains nearly 50 million years ago. When those prehistoric species died out, new ones replaced them, including the ancestors of these elk, which now run free on the Niobrara National Wildlife Refuge in northern Nebraska.